Good morning. All right, so today we're going to work on our uh, review for tomorrow's quiz, which is completed in the square based on a lot of your questions. Uh, this seems to be an area of concern. So my first one's going to be just an intro, like again, just thinking through it correctly, but my directions say find the C, which is this last term, to make this a perfect trinomial. So I'm starting easy, getting medium, then getting pretty hard, okay? So first things first, uh, this is always the first step in identifying a perfect trinomial for completing the square. We always, to get this, we take half of the B and we square it. Remember, this is the B, this is the A. Half of B is four, squared is 16. So then this simplifies into X plus four squared. That's the whole purpose for this, okay? Next, again, we take half of negative nine and we square it. So half of negative nine squared is positive 81 fourths. Okay, so this becomes x minus nine halves squared. To make this more clear for you, we got half of the b squared. This was eight divided by two, which equals four. I'm not going to simplify this to a decimal. I want to leave it as a fraction. Always going forward for this stuff, okay? Uh, next one. This one right here. Half of one-third. Now, because I got a fraction, I want you guys to use your common sense with fractions. Half of one-third is the same as one-third times one-half, which equals one-six, okay? And when you square that answer, you get one 36. So this is 136 right there because you distribute the power to the top and the bottom. So your perfect trinomial is going to be um, x, this one's plus, so this one's plus 16 squared. Okay? Um, that is that. And then I'll be back in a second to show you two hard examples of completing the square. Hello. All right. So here we go. Next one. I'm, I'm only doing difficult examples because I know you guys are not good with fractions and some other stuff. So I'm not going to do the easy ones. I'm doing the hard ones. Again, you're going to see a mix of easy, medium, hard in today's work. Uh, I'm just purposely going over the hard ones so that I hopefully answer all those questions. So here we go. Uh, here we go. How to do this by completing the square. You're solving by completing the square. Now, instead of bringing the 6 to the left side, I'm bringing the 5 to the right side because I'm keeping my numbers on one side, my letters on the other, because uh, I'm solving. I'm not caring about the vertex. I'm just strictly solving. So, get the numbers of this side, letters on this side. So, now, I'm going to do this kind of quick. I'm going to divide out the 2 of both of these two terms. So, I got 2, I got x squared minus 2x um, equals 1. Now, half of this squared is, half of this is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Now, remember, I brought in a positive 2 that wasn't here originally. If this number was on this side of the equation bar, I would put a minus 2. But because I want my balance, I want my scale to be balanced at all times, I brought in a positive 2 over here. I also bring in a positive 2 over here. So now, I have, this is going to say 2 times x minus 1 squared equals 3. Now, um, I'm going to finish this off by solving by completing the square by using the square roots. I now have to divide by 2 on both sides, and I get x minus 1 squared equals 3 over 2. Now I take square root of both sides, plus or minus. Now remember our rules when doing square roots. I cannot have a square root, a radical, and a denominator. Off to the side I have, I'm going to do something like this. We know that um, this says the same as this, square root of 3 over square root of 2. Now remember, you cannot have a radical and denominator, so you just simply multiply it out on top and bottom. So now this says radical 6 over 2, okay? So now this is what this is simplified. This is crucial. I have x minus 1, sorry, I take away this parentheses because I did that by doing the square root equals plus or minus square root of 6 over 2. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Your final answer is x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 6 
over two. And we are done. And this is how I want you guys to express your answers because this is how it's gonna be done on tomorrow's quiz. So make sure you guys are comfortable doing this in this form. Ask me questions in today's session when and if I see you. Hold on a second. All right, next, last example for today's lesson. Uh, here we go, we're gonna do this one now. Again, bring the number to the right side because we're solving completing the square. Um, we're not solving a vertex. So I'm gonna bring my numbers to the right side and I get 3x squared minus 2x equals six. I'm now gonna divide out the three of both of these two terms. So now I get three x squared minus two thirds x, all right, equals six. Now, I already know this is gonna be plus something. Off to the side, I've gotta take half of this and square it. So I got negative two thirds times one half. That's taking half of this, which equals negative two six, which reduces to negative one third. Okay, I take negative one third and I now square that. Don't forget all these steps. I reduced, I took half of this, I reduced it to lowest terms, now I square it, I get positive one ninth. Okay, now I brought in a three times positive one ninth, and remember, three times one ninth is the same as three over nine, which reduces to one third. I brought in a positive one third on this side. I keep it positive one third to keep it balanced at all times. Now this reduces to three times parentheses x minus one third. That's where this comes in. Squared equals six. I have to have a common denominator is the same as eighteen thirds plus one third. This is the same as uh, nineteen thirds. Okay. Now, again, try to do this without using a calculator. This is why these tricks come in handy. I can divide both sides by three, but I'm really bad at dividing fractions by, by dividing. So dividing by three is the same as multiplying both sides by one third. It means the exact same thing. So now this says X minus one third squared equals 19 ninths. I'm liking this because I see a perfect square at the bottom. I'm going to square root both sides. And because I know I cannot have a radical in the denominator, and I'm not going to because the square root of nine on the bottom is the same as three, this is now x minus one third equals plus or minus square root of 19 over three, okay? Last but not least, I'm gonna add one third, I'm gonna add one third, and I'm gonna get an answer of x equals one third plus or minus square root of 19 over three, okay? Or it might read like this, x equals, can you all see this? Hope so. Um, or equals, x equals uh, one plus or minus square root of 19 all over three. Either answers are acceptable. I hope this helps out and solidifies what we're doing now for this completing the square stuff, and then um, seeing today's work.